looks like blood. Oh my, well dang, I was supposed to catch it. I don't know what it is. Anyway. Would it be weird to cry happy tears about a baron coming off? These are things that keep me up at night. I don't know, it's not very fun. <laughs> Puppies, puppies, sun going down, and my boys who have been here working on the gleaner all day. I have yet to come over. I did feed them supper though. How's it going? Mm. <laughs> it's going? Round and round like a what? Huh? Like a tick on a donut. That's what I expect. Is it called a cart, car carter or cotter? Cotter. Cotter. There's a man on the outside, so they're not on me. You've been working hard, buddy. Where's the plug? Um, Monday, August the 17th, 19th. My son's birthday was Saturday the 17th, so I can figure that out. And I was supposed to have helped my husband. Come on, buddy. Excuse me while I get situated. Not like that. Oh my gosh, Bonnie can't get in the truck. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Get in. Her old legs don't work all the time. Relate? Anyway, um, we were supposed to have worked on the combine today, but he had to go to the Gleaner dealer. Well, he's not a dealer. They don't sell new ones, but they sell old ones and they sell parts, which is in Oxford, North Carolina, which is a good solid hour, hour and 15 minutes from here. So that took up like four or five hours of his day because he has to talk and he had questions and anyway so he got back and he just went over there a little bit ago to start working on it so I'm gonna go see if I can help for a little bit then come back and do supper and maybe go back y'all it is the hottest day it's, it says it's 90 but the humidity is horrible okay it's horrible I mean it's summer in the south and it stinks that's what it does hate it we did have a shower too i was on the phone in the field in my little spot where i can talk having a little business phone call and the sun was shining and it started pouring down rain <laughs> and we got i don't know i think we probably got a couple tents Woo! sorry so anyway that's where we're at Got to get the gleaner fixed because it will soon be time. It will soon be time to combine. Soon be combine time. Yeah, I said that right. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Here's a well-used sprocket. It's getting replaced. This sucker is sharp. And this is a lot of money right here, evidently. 
Okay, well, yeah. I didn't do anything but hand some sockets and wrenches and stuff. Or, what are those things called? Cable pliers. I don't know. I'm not good with that stuff, y'all. Um, so now I'm going home to cook supper. Maybe I can be a little bit more useful tomorrow. Okay, I'm back here today. Hopefully gonna actually get to help some. He told me to prepare to get greasy, so I guess I might get greasy, huh? He's housing the whole these bushes is busted. Put a new bush on that. The housings that hold the bushings are busted. You know how to No, I, yeah, I do, because they can't understand. Back, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I know it's broke. Okay, something's broke. <laughs> now, I have to tell them what you say, because they can't understand you. Mm -hmm. I've only been here like 10 minutes. What I know is that this is tedious and it's hard to get places that you need to be. And, I don't know, it's not very fun. <laughs> Shining a little light on the situation. Shining a light right here, let's hold it. Let's see if this, this will lead up to it. Do you have the part for it? Yeah. I just cleaned this out. Cleaning this is actually more satisfying than cleaning, say, my bathroom. <clears throat> just a little, just a little bit of built up stuff. I can't tell you what this is, but it's evidently important to the process. Not bad. That's all. That's all I got on me so far. See if we can find a big adjust. Oh, I see it. I think this qualifies as a big adjustable wrench. This thing could do some damage too. It's like a weapon. It's the granddaddy. That's the daddy. All right. This is the rocker arm for the shaker. I like the names. Right. Sounds like a band or something. Okay, know. that's what, what we're calling. Whatever. And this is what you think. That's the arm from the wobble gear back to the shake arm. Wobble? Yeah, right there's the wobble gear. That makes a dance. Yeah. Get your flashlight and let me see what. I'm trying to reposition the trailer. It looks like it's going to storm. We got cattle feed in the back of the white truck. It would be nice if we could just pull it in. Woohoo! That worked. Well. Might not be able to pull it in, but we can at least back it up. Actually, no. That'll totally fit. <laughs> okay, y'all. Words of the day. Bushings, bearings, and bolts. Oh, my. Also... These are things that keep me up at night. This is really heavy. Why, why are monkey wrenches called monkey wrenches? Did Mr. Monkey invent the monkey wrench? Were monkeys involved with the invention of the monkey wrench? No, that doesn't make sense. I, I just really wanna know, do you know why a monkey wrench is called a monkey wrench? Extra points if you do, tell me in the comments. <laughs> Seriously, this thing weighs like 10 pounds. It's getting ready to storm. I'm obviously easily distracted, but yeah, it's been thundering. He has gone home to get some Allen wrenches. And honestly, if it would just rain a little bit, that would not hurt my feelings. So real quick, a shout out to Oakley Combines in Oxford, North Carolina. And Gabe, if you're watching this, thank you for your help for helping my husband figure out all the things that he needed and spend all his money on all the things. <laughs>
tiny little bag of stuff like five hundred dollars worth but anyway still it feels like we're just having to basically replace the guts of the gleaner the gleaner guts that's what i'm calling it um and like my husband was saying earlier he's never had a combine this is his first combine this old butte right here so it's all new to him he's never worked on a combine but he's worked on a million other things and he's a very good mechanic so i have no doubt that we can get this done he can get this done and maybe i can be of service helping a little bit <laughs> handing things holding things shining lights pushing what did i just push back and forth shakers the shaker so anyway i'm excited to get this thing going can't wait to see it in action can't wait to ride in there and really can't wait to show y'all so it's little things y'all doesn't take much to excite me and this gleaner this is exciting and now he's gone home to get a longer cotter key cotter pen cotter cotter d d t t i have no idea how you spell it so i'm probably not saying it correctly lots of back and forth <laughs> to get the things that are not here, even though it looks like everything is here, <laughs> like everything in the shed. It's definitely storming somewhere. Not here, it's rolling around us, which is very typical. I just noticed something on my shoulder. It looks like blood, but it's not, it's just grease. Good old red Valvoline grease. I guess that's it for today. Got some stuff done. Plenty more to do. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I know we're not done. <laughs> and um, we do need some feed. We need some corn for the calves. He went to the local co-op this morning and bought some bagged feed to get us through for a few days. And then we're either gonna pick some or if we get this thing going, we're gonna go just combine a little bit, just a little bit to get us through. Cause the, I know I know one thing that's not good. I mean, it's still too high in moisture and we can't put too much of that through the combine, right? Pretty sure I'm right. But I believe we could do a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I might be talking out of my head. I'm pretty sure that's what I gathered from conversations with the farmer though. So, I'll keep you posted. Okay, I'm having to just figure out what I'm gonna do for supper with this cube steak. I'm gonna try something. I don't even know that I've ever done it. I'm gonna cut up the cube steak. I'm gonna season it with seasoned salt because that works really good. I'm going to saute onions and butter and then I'm gonna cook the cube steak and then I'm gonna like put some other stuff with it I'm not really sure what yet and then we're gonna just put it in like a hoagie roll that's what we're gonna do maybe some cheese kind of like a Philly cheese steak so I don't have any bell peppers but a Philly cheese steak with cube steak and onions and cheese cheese we'll see okay we have kids blowing up balloons um, I cooked the onions. I have cut up the cube steak in little strips. I got more butter because you can never have enough butter. Really, all you can never have enough butter. I've got butter and I'm gonna put the cube steak in there. We're gonna cook it. I'm gonna add some Worcestershire. Worcestershire, somebody else can say that because I sure can't. And we're gonna see what we get. It can't be too bad, seriously y'all. Okay, so all I did was added a little Worcestershire. That's such a hard word. Um, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, and sauce. <laughs> and I'm gonna let that cook down. And I added the onions. And seriously, between that and some leftover smorgasbord of uh, hot dog buns, we're gonna have supper. And just sometimes that's the way it rolls. Get it? roll. I didn't even mean to do that pun, but it was amazing. So you're welcome. Good morning, girls. You hungry? Are you happy? Just a second. 22. 
there's a stranger among us. Who could it be? Bonnie. It's just Bonnie. But they definitely know she's here. <laughs> Gate ball studies. What you think, girl? It's already hot, Mom. That's what I think. I think so. It is Wednesday, day three of, I don't know, day three, day four or something of gutting the gleaner. I'm gonna really work on this hard today. Try to get as much done as possible. And um, yeah, I'm learning stuff though. This has been pretty fun. So, um, well fun, fun is, I don't know if fun is the right word, but educational, not bad. Could be worse. Okay, heading over to the barn. See what's going on with the gleaner. She's been taking care of some stuff in the house this morning. And Hub said, just come whenever. He would be there. <laughs> Woo! Sorry about that. Going on a part run to get a bearing puller. Okay, let's see if this works. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like one of those things from those machines that reaches down and grabs the stuffed animals in the balls, but it never actually does. So hopefully this actually does work. Oh my, well dang, I was supposed to catch it. I got it. Hmm. Oh, the Woodruff key. Oh, what a what? The Woodruff key. A Woodruff's key. What's it do? It holds a sprocket on that shaft keeping spinning. Well, okay. the sprocket would spin on the Well, I'm learning all sorts of things. I'm just hoping boats don't come loose inside the damn combine. Dude, you're gonna have to cross that little hole and hold them like a hermit. I don't think there's a hole in this combine I can crawl through. Breaking out the top shelf grease today. What? We're breaking out the top shelf grease. What are you talking about? They it's the best. Penetrating oil, excuse me. It all does the same thing. Yay, there were sparks. Sparks flew and then it worked. And whatever was supposed to come out, came out. Set screw. Set screw. Set screw is unset. I'm holding that pulley. It was winning. Well, I guess if it was easy, everyone would do it. Some intense problem solving being had. Trying to find our bearing on bearings. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just full of puns. That's really all I'm good for. And holding sprockets. Taking a lunch break. It's a bologna and cheese kind of day. Lunch of champions. Can I get an amen? Yeah, it's all good. So, let us, so all in all, things are going okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, I promise to keep my channel PG, so I'm not able to include all the things because there are some frustrating things, and when things get frustrating, frustrated words start to fly. Do you know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> I'm learning a lot, and I don't know. The stuff is just never easy. Nothing, nothing ever goes very smooth or easily with something that's this old, and everything, you know, everything's been jammed in there. For 40 years <laughs> and it seems like no amount of oil or grease or whatever or prying or all the things 
necessarily helps. So it's just taking a while. But every step closer is a step closer. So we'll see. Hopefully we get this thing done. Oh, we were hoping today. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, okay, I got it. Adds the sprocket holder to resume. Well, everything else has been exhausted. So, it's torch time. This thing is being a real pain in the butt. If there's one or 80 things on this combine that I could hit my head on, I've done it. One or 80 times. Catch what? Is it going to be hot? Yeah, it's going to be hot. You want me to hold it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding it. We're so <laughs> close. Uh -uh. I'm like really excited. Uh, I want to uh, go and then come up with it. <laughs> Oh, we're so close to getting this bearing off. This has been a tedious process. All right, sucker. It's off, it's off. Yeah, what damage did it do? I don't know how to expect you to get them bolts in there. Other than stick your hand up through there like you done. Yeah, so I was sticking my hand through there because my hand is the only one that will fit. But um, obviously, can't really do a whole lot. Can't see anything. Womp womp. Would it be weird to cry happy tears about a baron coming off? Look on the new chrome. Hopefully, it goes on easier than the other one came off. Okay, shiny punch, shiny punch. The end is shiny, is that what you mean? The whole punch is shiny. No, okay, wrong one. Craftsman, 40 inch. Is that it? Okay, pretty sure I got it. I was feeling pretty proud of myself. We got the new bearing started and I got my arm up in that hole and I got two of the nuts, bolts, bolts in. The furthest one away, I couldn't quite reach it and then I dropped the bolt into the bottom. It's laying in the belly now. So I'm going home. I'm going home to get my son who has a smaller arm and get a magnet. This work is not for the faint of heart. I will tell you that. And doing this kind of stuff, stuff just gives me that much more respect for what my husband does day in and day out because this stuff is frustrating. That's all the singing I'm doing this time, y'all. There you go, there you go. Hold, hold it, it in under. Just hold it. Wesley saved the day. He got the bolt out with the magnet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my arm out. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Hold it down there. Get this thing nuts done. <laughs> You'll get it out. I got mine out and mine's fatter than yours. Woo. I don't know if I've ever seen something so beautiful as that right there. After all that work. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I'm about tired of looking at sprockets. Why is it not working now? There we go. <laughs> Fun with magnets. And here we have the sprocket on. I'm just pretty excited that I know what these words mean now. 
I would have never known that before. Shaft, I'm pretty sure. Sprocket, bearing, cage, bearing back there. Or as my husband says, burn. It's a burn, it's actually a bearing, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, that concludes today's class in vocabulary. Gleaner vocabulary. Get a new chain put on. Got that all done. Woohoo! Going back. <laughs> no, we don't want to run him back. There's, there's the rudimentary like drawing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Over, under. Over, that way. Over, over. Yep, looks right. Woohoo! This is really exciting to have this done. Never thought I'd be this excited about getting a chain on a 40 year old combine. Just learned that me and the combine are both late 78 models. So we have more in common than I realized. I mean, if it's possible to have something in common with a combine. It appears another storm is gonna roll around us today. It's thundering. Today, instead of to the north and east, it's the west and south. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I got a grasshopper on me. <laughs> um, that's about all we're going to do today. I am going like this. Smelling like I do. <laughs> uh, to go get a gallon of milk because we need milk. And then I'm going to cook supper. It's 548. Not bad. All's well that ends well. Feeling pretty good about this now. All we got to do tomorrow is pack, waving at somebody, pack cylinders, pack a couple cylinders, I think. Never done that. I feel like I have been a part of something like that before, but I really don't know what it is. So I guess we'll find out. I mean, I will, I'll find out. Okay, this might be the longest vlog in the history of man. So it's the end of one of those days where I'm just really tired. I mean, that's kind of normal, but I just feel kind of drained. And again, I know I've already said something about my husband, but it just makes me realize I don't know how he does everything he does all day, every day. <laughs> and yes, he's older than me, but he could outwork me any day. And whew. But there is a big sense of satisfa satisfaction coming off of a day like today where we've worked together, we've accomplished things together, I've learned new things, I've done new things, and, um, you know, where I feel like I have another part in kind of keeping things going here, and it's rewarding. So, now I'm going to throw together a very haphazard supper with some leftover mashed potatoes, shepherd's pie mixture from last week that I made too much of, I'm going to throw it together and top it with some Bisquick, Bisquick and milk mixed up and we're gonna, we're gonna eat and it's all gonna be fine. <laughs> and then we're gonna get up and we're gonna do it again tomorrow and hopefully we're gonna finish that gleaner. I'm gonna finish gutting the gleaner. I know I've already done that too, but I'm doing it again. Going on a quick spin, waiting on Sissy. She wants to go find the horse or two. And the sun just came out, and I think it's gonna be pretty. What do you think? I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie. There she is. It's starting to rain some. Bonnie's peeing. <laughs> They're not up here where they usually are, so I don't know. But it sure is pretty. See if they're close. <laughs> happy dog, happy dog. Happy Austin.
gals. How's it going? Feels good, doesn't it? Well, it's Thursday morning, y'all. <sighs> I'm almost here. Going to pack cylinders today. Whatever that means, I have no clue, but I'm about to find out. Stay tuned. You like it up there, Clara? I'm just happy to be here. Just really happy. Aren't you? Yeah, there's Gus, chasing the cap again. <laughs> okay, pack cylinder day. We're getting so close. I just realized what I am. Instead of like an assistant to a doctor repairing someone's heart in the surgery room, I am the farmer's assistant repairing the heart of the gleaner. I mean, not the heart, but the insides. Yeah, that's what I am. Okay, bar. Intense. Okay, I just drug this cylinder out. This thing is heavy, y'all. Had no idea. Heavy and long. And a little greasy. So I'm I'm just having to stand around and pan and stuff intermittently. So I just came over here looking for something to sit on. And I found a stool. Kinda. Let me see if this works. Ow. That thing just bit me. Yeah, I'm being lazy. So it works fine, fine, as long as you don't wobble. Hmm. This is better. Okay, the cylinders have been disconnected is that what you would say and so now we're going back to the house to the shed to get them excuse me packed whatever that means i'll know by the end of the day what that means though what exactly does packing mean because i don't know put in the o-rings and see what you say o-rings and what put the, all the seals and o-rings in the cylinder so it won't leak okay this is just a really fun learning curve he said he's never done one like this before. And I'm pretty sure he's done a lot. <laughs> I'm talking about the rod won't come out of the barrel. That's what we're trying to figure out. Man, that sucker does a trick. Got two riders. It's starting to thunder and it's really hot out here, so I'm taking them back home <laughs> because they do not like storms and it's just it's too hot anyway and so let's see cotter pins check back to the barn to find some rope all the things aside from the fact that my son was born in August it is my least favorite month of the year it is it is nasty it is nasty in North Carolina in August. It's 100 degrees and a thousand percent humidity. Like you could just wring the humidity out of the air. It's so hot. Did I mention it was hot? It's too hot to be fixing a combine, I'll tell you that. It's never too hot for Pringles though. I never buy Pringles. They're like the expensive chips, but my dad brought them to the birthday party. There's two left, and they're all mine. Pull. Okay. So that cylinder's on. In. Oh my God! She's 
coming down out of there. Well, it's here. I thought it was going around us. It's not. <laughs> At least my windows are up, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, y'all, you might not be able to hear me. It's raining so hard. And I've gone from sweating profusely to having goosebumps on my arm. <laughs> I think it just dropped 20 degrees or more. We'll see. Woo! We definitely caught this one today. Yeah, not complaining. We needed some. The beans need it. And maybe it'll get it out of its system so we can cut hay again next week. First, we gotta try this baby out and get a little bit of corn. I was gonna say pit. I guess it would be combined. We'll see. We got the, um, both cylinders are in now. It's got one more little thing to do, I think, and she should be set. So excited. Homeward bound, day three. <laughs> Almost done. Good shower. I mean, I need a good shower, but we had a good shower. <laughs> oh, I feel a hamburger calling my name. So, that's what we're going to do tonight. And just like that, it's all cleared out. <laughs> about that right there. Nice. Okay, I just got a lesson on chains. 2050 versus 50. And how to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one has 32. We need one more. So we're going to cut this one. He's going to cut it to 33. This is a 50 chain. That over there is a 2050 chain. This 50 chain will run only on a 50 sprocket. But a 2050 chain will run on a 2050 sprocket or a 50 sprocket. Am I right? Did I pass the test? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, y'all, it's day five. It's day five. Two four five I don't know I've lost count but he should be working on the very last thing going to see I put another piece of metal in there where the hole was he there okay he just put this new metal in here I'm not scared I'm not scared at all um that rounded metal it was eat out good job I hate I missed all that look right. down in there yeah, you gotta get over and clean it up. I gotta get in there and clean it Somebody up. <laughs> Sounds like a good job for Wesley. Guess what, y'all? I got there just in time to leave and go get an extension for the cordless drill at the hardware store. <laughs> so much gophering. Go for rain. Filling it up. Go, go, go. We gotta have, we gotta get all in all in some. Yes, we want our cylinders to be properly lubricated. Or whatever it does. Look at it. See what happens. Come on, baby. He said the battery might be dead. Okay. So that's not going to work. 
We found a little leak, a gas leak. So we're gonna have to get that fixed. Eventually, we're gonna get this thing going. Shortly. We are. Stay tuned. <laughs>